Welcome back everybody. I am the Crafty Northerner and today we have another unbagging haul from VIP Cross Stitch. <clears throat> Again, this is in the series of hauls that I'm doing because I want to keep these videos short. I want to welcome my new subscribers, welcome my current subscribers. I appreciate you subscribe me and I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, I appreciate you coming back. And I would ask that you like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. It definitely helps. We are getting up there with viewers and subscribers. And it is definitely helpful. And I appreciate everybody that comes in and watches my videos. And with that, we will start um, we will start with this one. Again, I apologize for the crinkling. Alright, so this one is this here. I love the colors of this one. I love the look of this one. Now I believe this one is called let's see what they call this one. Blue Skull Girl is what the website called it. And this one was nine dollars and two cents. It is an eleven count. There is your product number. Let's see what the size on this is. It is a thirty-nine by fifty-four centimeters. It has one hundred and forty-seven stitches by two hundred and twelve stitches. It has 30 colors. Let's see the pattern. The pattern's nicely printed. I don't see any smudging. It's definitely big enough. I don't think you would need to blow this up or enlarge it. Um, unless you do have a need to. I think any normal person would be okay being able to see this. So very nice. Again, it's on that tear proof kind of paper. Again, this will match. Your canvas will match your pattern. Again, um, in one of my other videos, I do not get this wet. It will smudge and it will ruin your pattern. And that goes for your canvas as well. Do not get it wet. The colors will start to bleed. The colors will start to run with any kind of liquid on here. This canvas is stiff, which again will work out as you work with it. It'll It'll soften up. It does have a nice large key on the side. It is surged all the way around, which is always nice. And again, at the top, you have your product number. 
And on the bottom here, you have your other information. And we will measure this to see how large this is. So your picture size is going to be 35 centimeters length uh, width-wise, and then lengthwise you're looking at. About 30, 48 and a half. So not bad. You can see where our face is here. It's a little conf confetti through here. It does have, you know, big spots up here you can do. And around here, her face. Through here is not too bad. You got kind of rivers of the same color going through. There's a couple spots, especially right in here where her hair is. It might be a little confetti heavy. Even up here, there's definitely spots of, you know, same color. So it's not that bad. It's not too bad as far as confetti goes. And we have a toolkit. And again, we have the Screaming Tiger. And you have your needle threader. Your poof ball. They must be giving the pink ones out now. I used to only see the green and yellow ones. You have five needles and your thimble. Take a look at the threads. Put these away. These come on the floss drops. Apologize for the crinkling. And of course, you're going to have a lot of the same blue colors through here. As most of this line is blue but I do a lot of mono monotone projects that have a lot of light colors and sometimes I like to switch it up and not have to do the same light colors all the time uh, let's see here again with these cards and the, the stamp printing these ones don't look overly too bad. That one definitely isn't. You can almost not even see that one. Again, like I said in my previous videos, I would just flip these over and write the number on the back. That way you know you're not going to lose or you're not going to lose what color it is. That seems to be the only one that's slightly printed like that. But again, it did take time to go through these and write all the numbers on the back. But again, for my own, own personal peace of mind, I would just flip these over as I'm punching holes on these to put them on a ring. To put them on one of these rings. One of these rings here. For my own peace of mind, as I'm doing all that, just flip them over, write the number on the back of it. That way you always know what the number is. You don't have to worry about this rubbing off in case it rubs off. Because these cards are fairly new. And until a lot of people start using these and find out how well they hold up to uh, long-term use and handling. Again, for my own peace of mind... I would just, you know, flip it over and write the number on the back. Everybody's different. Everybody does stuff different. You may even take these off these cards and put them on your own thread drops or your own thread cards. 
or a thread holders. But for me, I'll probably keep them on here. But again, until I start working with them, I won't know if I like them like this or not. Because I generally don't like, even the regular thread cards, I don't like um, when they're on there through a little, with a little slit like that. If you can see that. I generally don't like when they're in, you know, even regular thread cards, I don't like them like that. I usually transfer them to something else. So we'll see. I think it's a good idea, and I like that they're doing them this way. Whether I keep them that way, and I like using them that way, I'm not entirely sure yet until I start working with them. All right, and again, that one was $9.02. All right, the next one is, this has only got a tiny picture. But it is a little Groot. I love this. It's so cute. This is an 11 count. Your paper pattern will match your canvas. This is an 11 count. As you can see, your 11 count, your product number, it is a 50 by 45. This does not tell me how many stitches it is, but it looks like it's roughly 190 by 167, 68, something like that. This has 35 colors. See if I can change this light here. Maybe that might be a little bit better for you guys. It's not so bright. Might be able to see a little bit better. The printing looks good. I don't see any smudging. So that all looks good. Screaming Tiger with your poof ball. Five needles, your needle, threader, and your thimble. This is a very stiff canvas. Definitely going to have to scrunch this one. Uh, here you go. Look, you see his little face. That's so cute. There it is, sort of in color. If you guys can see that. This is searched all the way around. Again, you have your product number, how big it is. Again, on here it doesn't list how many stitches it is. But it's roughly what I said before. The printing looks very good. I don't see any bleed over. The symbols look very nice and clear. So definitely happy with that. Even these red circles, you can see that. These red circles with the red squares right next to it. I don't know why they would do that, but this printing 
It looks good enough and clear enough where I can tell which is which. Sometimes when they put colors like that next together like that, it can be very, very hard to tell which one is which. Would be my only complaint about this one. But the printing is good enough where you can definitely tell the difference of which one's which one's a circ red circle and which one's a red square. My only suggestion would be just pick a different color. <laughs> like put it as a green circle. Do we have a green circle on here? Uh, that looks like a blue circle. Oh, I can't tell if that's a blue circle or a green circle. That looks like a blue circle. Or it doesn't even have to be a circle. Just pick a different color to stick next to that red. That would be my only small, small complaint. And it's not just this pattern. There's other companies and patterns that do the same thing. Apologize for the crinkling. Let's see what we got here. We got two hanks of 310. And that 40 means you have 40 strands in here. 40 strands of six. And that's what that 40 means. So you've got two of those. You've got one of number 550. Again, another 40 strands. And your colors. Is that number six? So four nine eight. I'm loving the colors in this though. Very nice. And again, this has 35 colors. So I'm actually pretty happy with the amount of colors that this has. It should make nice for the blending. The blending of it and be able to other stuff be able to pop out some of the detail all right that pattern was eleven dollars and two cents Go to this larger one. Again, I apologize for the crinkling. And we do have our toolkit. Well, we got a different one this time. We got a butterfly with a butterfly this time. And of course you got your needle threader, your pom pom. Five needles and your thimble. And this one is our Pokemon. Got a little Pikachu down there. You got Ash. I don't remember the names of the other ones. I should know. But he's got his trophy in his hand. This is an 11 count. You got your product number 4555. 
and 148 stitches by 213 stitches. <clears throat> you have your instructions. And you have your pattern. This has 42 colors. It is a very tiny key on the side here. Could be a little bit bigger. Again, if they cut down like part of this, if they even cut down like a little bit of this, they can make that key just slightly bigger. The pattern they may not be able to make bigger, but at least... Okay, we do have some smudging that I can see. And this face there, if you can see that. Some of these symbols are hard to tell. I don't know if those symbols are there. Those are bleed over symbols. So again, I'm going to have to email them. Um, like I said with one of my other ones, a lot of times they'll just send you a PDF of the pattern. I mean, this, this is not an overly dramatic bleed over, but you can see that it bled over from up here. You can see that when they folded this in half, like this, that orange right there bled over here when they folded this in half. They didn't quite let it dry enough when they folded it. And again, it's not overly dramatic, but like right there, I can't tell what that is. And I can't tell what these are. I can't tell if those are bleed over symbols or if those are symbols that are actually on there. Again, I could look on my canvas and I could probably tell. But it's always nice to have an actual copy of your pattern just in case something happens to your canvas. Like you can even look. See, look right there. Like I guarantee you there's no green slash marks in there. I bet you that's just all 37 orange. But it got bled over from somewhere. So it's actually showing up in the pattern on the other side. It bled over from down here somewhere. But besides that, and that's not, that's just a manufacturing issue. They're not letting these patterns dry before they fold them. But that looks like maybe you're the only spot that I can kind of tell. There's a little blurriness up here and there is, it looked like there was a little bleed over, a little bleed over color here. That should be white. That should be a white black, a black cross on top of a white square. And it's got a shade of orange. It's got a shade of pink in there. So some of the pink from down somewhere else got bled into those white squares. And again, you could tell on your canvas what these are. But again, if you ever needed to back yourself up and need your pattern, your paper pattern, you're going to need a working copy. And when... There's a pattern like this you can't tell. It's, it's You really need one. So I will email them about that. As far as the canvas goes, the canvas looks great. Again, you got your product number on the top here. You got your 40 by 55. And how many stitches per inch? Again, it is surged all the way around, but it is running into the numbers. Again, see, this is where I would need my pattern because some of these numbers, I can't tell what they are. I mean, if I really, uh, yeah, see, I can't really even tell what these, 
Yeah, I can't even tell what they are. They're almost actually totally cut off. Even way at the top here, you, it's hard to tell. The rest of the pattern looks good though. Looks like clear printing. I don't see any bleed over into any other squares. There's just an issue with their surging on the side here and their paper pattern. But overall, the canvas itself looks good. I will definitely have to email them about those two issues on that. Now on this bag, it does have, it does have your product number, your 40 by 55. Of course, you would have to keep it in this bag, but these are not rubber band together like they normally are. You have a bunch of white 3865. That's these ones. Where are their colors? Most of them, anyway. Again, let's look at these tags. All right, that's got a writ that's already got a written number on it. I'm gonna have to write on the back of that for sure, so I can actually tell what it is in my writing. And there's another one, three eight one three. They wrote that on themselves. I'll have to write that on there. My, well, I'm, I'm going to write on the back of these myself anyway, but as far as that, the printing on the cards look okay. Sometimes I'll find at least one or two where the printing's a little, I wouldn't say off. It's just, it didn't stamp very well, but these ones actually seem to be okay. That pattern was eleven dollars and forty-five cents. But I definitely I will have to definitely email them about those issues on there. And again, I've had other issues with other companies and this company themselves, and they've always been very nice. They've always gotten back to you in a timely manner. So I mean I don't have any any issue with emailing them because I know they'll always be helpful and get right back to you. And that's with any of these companies, you know, Biggest Craft, VIP Cross Stitch, which I'm reviewing today. Um, any of those kind of companies, they're always very good about, you know, customer service and getting back to you in a timely manner and solving issues that you may have. So I just have two more things and those are going to be accessories. And we have two little needle minders. We'll open this one first. Uh, they're sort of needle. Um, it doesn't come with a back magnet, 
So you'll definitely need to add your own magnet. But they're little needle threaders. It's got your, your large threader on this side and your little, little, little tiny one on that side. And then you got your cat. Look at the sparkle. I love this. Now, generally, these come with a protective film on it. My guess would be this one does. Maybe not. But this is like an acrylic. It's like a resin. It's got a film on this backside. If you can see it peeling up there. I don't see one on this side. But that's that one. And then we have another one. Again, you'll have to get your own magnet for the back. This does not come with a back magnet. It comes with a back magnet, it just doesn't come with... If you want to use this as a needle, a needle minder and a threader, you would just need to get a small magnet for the back. And here we go, it's a little rose. And there's your sparkle. And of course you have your large needle minder on one side. And your tiny, tiny one on the other. And let's see if this one has a film on it. These generally come with one on there. It does it on that side. It's got a protective film on this side. It doesn't seem to have one on this side, which is where you think it would be. Look, you can almost see how they made it in the light. You can see where they cut it right there your normal needle minders and they just epoxy glued these together but very nice and of course you can get magnets for really cheap on Amazon they don't cost that much So those needle mine or er, threaders cost two dollars and thirty-five cents a piece, which I think is a great value for what you're getting. You're getting the picture and the resin and the needle miners. I think that's a very good price. So with that, um, I want to thank you for watching. I would like to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you put notifications on all because YouTube does not default your all setting. So that way you know when I come out with a new video. I also do want to thank again my returning subscribers. I want to thank my new subscribers. <clears throat> there will be much more content coming out. There will be other stuff in the works in the near future and in the last next month or so um i just got to figure out logistics of some things and then i will be announcing that so make sure you stay tuned for that and with that we are at 34 minutes and again i don't want to make these videos too long so until the next one i will see you guys later